everyone, welcome to Jenny's New Classical World. Today I am going to introduce you a very important friend and partner. He is going to be appearing in my future videos. His name is Drumroll! Orpheus! He is an art itself. He's a very unique piano. He's wearing a white cover because this prevents him from being harmed by the sun rays. And the wood, when absorb the heat, it will bleach rapidly, and Orpheus would go out of tune. And let me show you how Orpheus look like. Most pianos are black in color, but Orpheus has this reddish brown color that is made out of mahogany wood. And if you look closer, you can see the wood grains clearly with different types of patterns. The wood grains are visible because it's in contrast to today's popular polyester with hard and heavy finish in most of the pianos. Orpheus is done in a traditional finish that has a much nicer high polish lacquer that is very delicate so that the wood grain can be appreciated more. The black keys of the keyboard also has this wonderful wood grain and color that is made out of ebony wood. The white keys are shaped to have round edges so that it has a very nice touch. The glissandos actually sounds like feathers. This is the music stand. And I really love this beautiful the metal with this beautiful clip. And these are two custom made musical clips that can hold my music. So if I have new music and the page will turn or pop up and this will hold them perfectly. I also want to mention these musical clips has to be down like this so that it will not scratch the wood if I am to pull the rack out. And I want to show you the interior of the piano. Let me be careful with this and stop recording. For you have to be extra careful with this. Here's the interior look of Orpheus. I think it looks like a harp and that's also partly where the name come from and I will share with you more about the name later. Uh, this old-fashioned blue tuning pins and the rich bronze gold plates makes a most lovely interior look and the forest green colored stringing field this contrasts with the most of the pianos today that are racy red with flashy nickel tuning pins, which always dwell down within a few years. And these blue tuning pins would stay. And let's get a closer look on the blue tuning pins. And here's a closer look on the stringing field. There's also here on the side. And let's go to that side. This other side is very, very beautiful forest green color stringing felt. And beautifully wrapped like this, like a little gift. And look at that, wow. The green are also on the piano stand, like here, if you can look, it's very deep inside and on the side as well. And on the keyboard, the forest green stringy field is also here. So every part of Orpheus is decorated with this forest green color. It's so magnificent. It's an art. Another beauty is this old fashioned part over here which modern day pianos lost and then the beautiful legs right here so next to Orpheus is this black color piano and I use this to play practice in longer hours because I want to protect Orpheus from wearing it down you know the fill 
belt and the hammers will wear down throughout the years. So in order to protect the good quality of Orpheus, this will be the sacrificial candle for me to practice in long hours. I have a custom made artist bench that is still in the process of making. When it's ready, I will let you know. But I know that it is matched with Orpheus with the forest green color. And I am especially grateful to Tally Manhanner, who is responsible of this long process of the rebirthing of Orpheus. She is the piano tuner of Lincoln Center and she owns a lot of pianos of the David Geffen Hall. And she was once a traveling piano guru of the famous pianist Eugene Estelman when he was traveling in America. My dearest friends Peter and Kathy hosted they are so kind to sponsor me Orpheus and a personal artist bench. They also sent me a lot of recording equipment. At first, I don't know how to use them. There were so many of them. But they offered me an audio engineer, Malty Nichols, to teach me in how to use these equipments. And so currently, I am learning how to use these equipment. So hopefully, in the future, my sound quality will become better. Besides this, they also give me financial support on my piano lessons. I'm extremely grateful for their love for me in helping me to become a better self, better person, in helping me with my personal growth and become a better musician. So I am extremely, extremely grateful to Peter and Kathy Holstead. They are the founders of the Tippet Rice Art Center. You might have noticed in my other videos, I frequently talk about this name. It is not for a commercial purpose. It is actually that I love Tippet Rice Art Center so much from the bottom of my heart that I just have to mention it in almost a lot of videos. And it is so special. Peter and Kathy, they knew that being a musician is not easy and most musicians earn poverty level income. Not all musicians can have this popularity, great fame, and fortune, and amazing life in the arts. And plus, preparing for a concert is time consuming. Musicians have to practice for months, for years, in order to prepare and produce a really great performance. Knowing these difficulties, Peter and Kathy Holstead founded the Tip and Rice Art Center. They created opportunities for musicians to perform. The Art Center is really a beautiful place. The combination of wonderful natural landscape, the best built concert halls, outdoor and indoors, and also wonderful famous musicians are invited to play these fantastic pianos including the CD-18, which is one of Vladimir Horowitz and Eugene Eastman's piano that were used. It's so beautiful. And Richard Good, Emery McDermott, Wuhan, and Stefan Hoff and other famous musicians are here invited to perform at Montana for the locals and for international visitors to see and enjoy. They also supported and subsidized young musicians who are pursuing their dreams. Besides myself, they support Roman Rabinovich, Adam Golka, Michael Brown, and others. We are all very fortunate to be in this special orbit. Thank you so much, Peter and Kathy, if you are watching this. Orpheus is living in a very smart room. Hey, Google! Turn on the stairs lights. Got it. Turning the lights on. Hey, Google. Turn on the kitchen lights. All right. Turning on two lights. Hey, Google. Play some music. Playing some music on Spotify. Hey Google, turn the cooling to 22 degrees. All right, setting the AC on the living room to 22 degrees. 
So Orpheus is living in this very smart room and living with a very smart person who is taking care of him and that smart person is me. So trust me, I will take good care of Orpheus. Oh, by the way, here are some beautiful flowers that I decorated for Orpheus. This is Dahlia and there are two silver willows. Here is the kitchen. I can't wait to actually play some chamber music too with two pianos in the same room. This is going to be fantastic. I will take good care of Orpheus. I am so thankful again for helping me enjoying and pursuing my music, musical dream. Thank you so much, Peter and Kathy. Love you.